What's going on y'all, Johnny J back at it again with another video to be more specific, another Vinland Saga video. This right here is episode 7. I'm only going to do one episode today because I am just caught up with so many different things and I'm just stuck on time right now. So, you know, you guys are only going to get one episode and then next time I'll do multiple episodes just to kind of, you know, speed things along when it comes to these Vinland Saga episodes. But anyways... <clears throat> In episode 6, which was really good, we see Thorfinn become more a part of Ashland's band or Ashland's group of warriors. Um, and then it's at a point where he eventually betrays a village that had a older woman take care of him for a little while. So that just shows how much he's gone off the path of the good character looking up to his father to seeing Ashland as more of a father figure, even to a point where at the end, he yawned just like him. So that was very interesting, and I really want to see what his progression is going to be throughout the series, especially because you know Ashland is responsible for Thorfinn's father, Thor, being killed. And it's just, it's weird to see him being taken in, Thorfinn, I mean, being taken in by this man who's responsible for your, for his father's death and to some extent seeing him as not necessarily, you know, I, I don't want to say father figure, I don't want to use that term, but as someone that he could kind of look up to to some type of extent, you know, maybe, you know, I have a, I have a theory that maybe he's just to some extent using him to get stronger. And once he gets to a certain level, he'll take him out, you know, just to avenge his father's death. I don't know. But anyways, let's get into this right now. Episode seven, Vinland Saga. Let's go. デンマーク軍及びバイキングによる侵攻は激化の一途をたどっていたそして10月数年間にわたって継続された攻撃は転換点を迎える でも、インフロンだから兵を引かれると引くのではない。休めるのだ。冬の根は兵力を用意する。派兵した軍にも兵器を養わせよう。おっ、王様の通り。夏だ。来年の夏には大攻勢をかける。よも。兵を引いて陣頭に立つ。いきなり休みか。国に帰りてよ。海賊連中の当分用なしだな。ああ、私も稼げると思ったのによ。正規の兵が動かねえんじゃな。これだから雇われ仕事はな。どうするつもりだアシュラットはアシュラットこのまま冬を越すのは血と寂しくねえかめぼしい村は平らげちまったしよだよなどうするつもりだどうするもこうするも渡り鳥と一緒さ餌のあるところに移動するだけよ
フランク人同士の小ゼリオンか。トリデガーは少数。せめては800ってとか。あの、トリデガーはかるとはな。どこの本拠地ってとこだ。どうだお宝の匂いがプンプンしねえかおお、これが狙いってわけか。やるか、アシュラッド。せめてにつくぞ。宝箱をぶっ壊して。See, that's what they do. They just raid. They go in these villages, destroy everything, and take what they want. See, I was just wondering about the friend. I was like, where's he at? サンセンダー、せめての親分に渡りをつけといて、工場はこうだ。貴殿の戦は下手だ。見るに耐える。よって我が兵団お助け申す。千載一遇渡りに船、必ずや何時らを勝利へ導くであろう。<笑>トリデが落ちた暁には戦利品の半分を処方する余地を再び突撃されよ伝えたら奴らの兵衛に残って状況を見張れ分かったらいけあどうした行けよトロフィーこれまでにどれだけ殺したと思ってる Is he having second thoughts? Sicko ni mo dedashi, Shingari mo tsutometa. Te kara wa jubun ni tateta. Nanoni, te mei wa. Nanda, hobi ga oshii no ka? He's pretty much saying, you want a cookie? Sumai kurete yaru ya. Hirushin ni chikatte ni. Zakken na. まで逃げ回ってるつもりだ。怖い。辛かっただけだって。だがな、それならカブトクの一つくらい取ってこなきゃならんだろう。You gonna keep testing him like that? Cause you know he can do it. He even said he killed a lot of people, so I'm pretty sure he can chop the dude's head off with his gun and all. 大事な交渉を任せちまって。劣勢の兵は気が立って交渉の前に殺されるなんてよくある話さ<笑>拾ったガキなら惜しくはないだろう Okay, so he, he still treats him as a kid that just follows him That's good I, I guess that's good, right? なんじゃわっぱ Because it's still within that character That character's personality ノルド語を話せる奴がいるかなんだこのガキ See, I like that. Okay, so he's speaking Norse. I was wondering what language that was. I don't know a subscriber told me what language he, they, they could have been speaking. But I really like that different language aspect of this. Ah, 
俺たちはそこを叩く朝知恵だな湖に至る川は登るにつれ勾配がきつくなる雨津さえ滝もあるのだ我々の船も下流で往生しておる湖から攻撃せぬのはそういうことだ湖から攻撃するのはそういうことだ。ほとあるぞ。この話。ならばアシラットの兵百人は。トリベガーと手を結ぶ。俺が死んだ場合も同じだ。商談成立の合図がない場合。北海の猛者百人がお前の敵になる。<笑>よかろう。かか。だが。貴様の言葉が偽りであればその首を切り落とすまことであれば,であればイエス・キリストの名においてパンを等しく分かち合おうパンを等しく分かち合おう俺の探検を返してくれ親父の形見なんだ知らせだ高く一本低く二本急ぐぜ月が登りきる前に峠を越えるぞずっと船の護衛かよ How old is Thorfinn now? Like 12 or something like that? But either way, if you look at kids back then versus kids now Like, it is a complete difference Like, they were much more like men back then. But then also, I think the, the average lifespan was, was much shorter too back then. So they kind of had to grow up a little quicker, or extremely quicker compared to now. Ryuga! Ryuga, Yama, will go up the chato? Hi, Sagea. The ship's crew is all seen. Oh. ちょうどですかか。来週も一度見てみたいもんじゃ。小僧、貴様の仲間はこのではないか。わしも一度見てみたいもんじゃ。もう日が昇ってしまったぞ。もう日が昇ってしまったぞ。いいから突撃しろって
That doesn't even make any sense. able to take out all those men. places where like any of these fights happen will you find any like weapons like buried somewhere even though it's been like over a thousand years since this time period it still may be something like buried like a way like a sword or something like that トリデの守備隊長は戦死しました。太平の話によると子供の仕業とか。あの小僧か。穴取れんな、ノルマンに。このまま返してはわれらの敵となるやもう。いかがいたしましょう。現地は峠を越えてきた。帰りも船を担い
<laughs> he got the crown on, he got the rings. <laughs> Balled it out of control. <laughs> I can't understand French. <laughs> Wait, he was actually gonna split the treasure with Thorfinn? <laughs> There's no way he his ass spam all the way over there, but you never know. Hey, <clears throat>約束だ。いやとは言わせねえ。アイスランドの戦士、トールスの子、トルフィ、我が父の剣にかけてアシュラットに決闘を申し込む。君は我が父の仇であるがゆえに。アシュラットは常に仇であるがゆえに。See, <laughs> See, you know, it was interesting because I remember before when he challenged him as a kid, they were all laughing at him. Now they're just in shock, like, wait, you really gonna fight him? Just like I came here for one thing, man. Well, y'all, we gonna cut the video off right there. Like I said, I'm kind of tight on time right now, so I'm just gonna do one episode, episode seven. It was a cool episode. Um, it was certain pieces in here that I really like. Like I always said, I really like the language barriers as in this show. It makes it so much more realistic, and now we know actually what language. Thorfinn is speaking that's Norse so I think that's also pretty cool and then even the little piece at the end where Aslan was like I don't know what you're saying you know I don't speak French I really like that part too like I said it makes it a lot more realistic because you know like I said before in a lot of these animes they make it so everyone speaks the same language and it's, it's never really a thought in my head especially when you're doing these time pieces but now that you're actually doing these time pieces it's like oh wow they really didn't speak another language like that and if you did find someone that spoke another language it's, it's very very rare as opposed to now where it's like okay you know someone that speaks english uh you could probably find someone that speaks french as well if you if you look and you don't have to really look that hard on top of that there is access to learning how to speak another language it's, it'd be difficult but there are people who have learned other languages once they got older. So, anyways, getting back to uh, Vinland Saga, I also like the fact that Thorfinn always had it in the back of his head, like, look, I'm going to avenge my father's death. I may be rolling with you now, 
but eventually uh, it's going to get to that point where I will challenge you once again and he was willing to to do anything to get that challenge and once Aslan was like look bring me a head of a soldier or bring me a head of someone in a helmet then I'll do it right so he was so intent on that like he had it in the back of his mind like look when I get the opportunity I'm going to do it so he got the opportunity he got the helmet even though that whole part like I said was a little bit unrealistic with all those soldiers right there and he was able to take them all out solo with no no damage done to him I think that was extremely unrealistic um, at least let him get like slashed a couple times you know but um you know like i said that, that was his goal that's what he had set in his mind so you know at the end he was like look let's go let's fight and like i said i really like too um in this is that you see the comparison like when he was a child and he challenged him all of aslan's men they were laughing at him taking him as a joke but now you didn't hear the laughter they kind of seemed a lot more like, wait, you've been with us for this long. You've fought alongside us. And even to a point where Aslan, when he was asked about Thorfinn, and he said, oh, he's probably dead. I guess it's more treasure for us. So it's like, wait, you actually was going to split some of the treasure with him? So, you know, it's, it's like, you, Thorfinn, you spent all this time with us, and now you still really want to challenge this guy. And... I wonder if, if, if Aslan's going to take him seriously now, especially because, shoot, he, Thorfinn has blood on his hands now. He killed so many men. He's he's a warrior now. So I really want to see how this plays out. Like I said, I'm only on episode, well, just finished episode seven. So we got a lot more episodes along the way. Uh, next next time, I'm probably going to try to do a lot more episodes as opposed to just one episode just to kind of just get through these series. But anyway, some of you guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. What did you like and what didn't you like? Also, tell me what series you guys want might want me to review next. You guys want you guys might want me to look into next. I just want to get the ideas out there early so I'll have something to look forward to or to look into once I get to the later episodes of Inland Saga and I'm looking for a transition. But anyways, these are my thoughts. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. This is Johnny J. Follow me on my social media sites, links in the description box down below. More Vinland Saga along the way. I'm out.